but he bounced back in the second, scoring 33 points. Klay Thompson chipped in 27, and the Warriors are advancing to their fifth straight Western Conference Finals tomorrow against Portland. Chris Haynes is still with us, but Skip, I go yes, to you ma'am. first on this. Yep. Did the Warriors miss Kevin Durant? I do not believe the Warriors would have won game five or game six unless Kevin Durant had gotten hurt. I do not wish injury upon anybody, but this was fortuitous for these Warriors under these circumstances. Because I remind you, game five at home, they were coming apart right on schedule in the third quarter as their offense had degenerated into KD or bust. We'd seen it over and over again. They had lost six home games this year by 20 plus points. They had blown a 31 point lead to the Clippers. I can't remember if you were there that night. I think you were, you were there. And too often it looked clunky and awkward and completely out of sync as they looked to Kevin to save us, Kevin to save us. And for sure, Steph and Clay had lost their flow and their rhythm and their green lights, at least their psychological green lights, because it's like, well, should he be doing it or do we get to have a shot now? Right. And all of a sudden, he finally made a big shot to sort of stave off the Houston rally, and he came down and pushed off on his, was it right calf? Yeah, right calf. Right. Boom, gone. I, I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden, as Steph said, we went in the huddle and we looked at each other and we all smiled. And I think they said to themselves, gee, maybe we can now prove that he is in our whole show. And I, I'm sure you've heard some quiet resentment of the fact that Kevin Durant is gone. He has not one foot out the door. He's got both foot, feet out the door, probably heading for Madison Square Garden in New York. And, and it can't, it's, it's just not great for team unity, team chemistry. But all of a sudden, they got to revert to 73-9 and nine Warriors. And in the fourth quarter, Steph and Clay said, watch this. Mm-hmm. In game six, in Houston on Friday night, they both said, watch this. And they put on a show of shows the way we used to, we, we remember how they used to do it 73 and nine, and that's how they did it again. Again, are they better without Kevin Durant? No, it was just in this circumstance against this arch rival that it suddenly flipped a new switch for them to say, here we go, watch this. Kevin, watch this NBA world, and the rest is Houston history. If, if you don't mind me asking, you've come on this program. The best last, player in the world. He's the best player. There's why no would a team lose a game with the best player in the world? Why are they better off without him? What did Draymond Green tell him? I, I, I know what, what, what did he tell him? I know what Draymond said. I know, I know, I know what Draymond said. The but I, I, I need you to understand. Draymond said, we won but the, before you got here, right? Isn't that the quote? I think yeah. you you had that quote, right? <laughs> we oh, won yeah. before you got yeah. here when he called him the B-word. I'm going to add, I'm gonna add yeah. a little. Brother? Brother. The brother <laughs> word. Brother. Yeah. They, are a gr- they are a great team without KD. KD makes them unbeatable. That's the difference between the two. Okay, I'm not sure they were unbeatable at that moment in if, game five. If they, were, if they thought they could do this without KD... They're not getting their ass on a plane Mm -hmm. and going to the Hamptons. Mm -hmm. That's why they did that. They did. Yes. They just blown a three to one lead. Right. Mm, But when you got that guy, you don't blow nothing. Mm. You blow people out. Mm. They they are still a proud team, Skip. Steph Curry is a two-time league MVP. The last time he won that award, he got all of them. He got them all. Nobody can say that. Back to back. Klay Thompson is one of the top five shooters in NBA history. He is. They won 73 games before KD even came to the Bay Area. Four of those five guys that were on that roster started uh, Friday night. Yep. So they know what they represent. This was an opportunity. Sometimes, Skip, we we fall in love and everybody, well, this, this is who they are now. They're like, y'all forgot about me. I got more MVPs than, 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 than KD in the regular season. You do know that, right? Uh-huh. So I, we're not going to take anything away from KD, but we were the Golden State Warriors before KD came. Mm-hmm. Don't ever lose sight of that. Mm-hmm. They showed they you, just showed you that. what they're made of. Mm-hmm. You never underestimate the heart of a champion. Mm-hmm. And they were champions before, and they were so anxious and giddy to show what they could be again. Sure. So even if KD leaves, they're like, okay, in, NBA you think of KD Lee, all of a sudden, we're going to go down to the seventh and the eighth seed. <laughs> Wrong. Oh. Hmm. I'll say this. I was very shocked that they put together that performance Friday in Houston without Kevin Durant. I, it was a foregone conclusion to me 
that we were going back to yeah. Oracle for game seven. Yes. Uh -huh. It got to the point where it was about nine minutes left in the fourth quarter. It seemed like Houston was season control. They were up seven. They, they did. Largest yeah. lead. I agree. I text KD. Mm -hmm. I said, hey, man, game seven is going to be crazy. He texted me back immediately. We're winning this game. Wow. Really? Then after the game, players, coaches went out of their way to bring up the fact that we need Kevin Durant. Hmm. The fact that we're not advancing much farther than this without him. At what, they didn't even have to go. They went out of their way to do that. And obviously, there's probably some motives behind yeah. that. Mm -hmm. There's a big decision to be made there this, this offseason. Yeah, we, got to, we, yeah. we need you, bro. But, 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 but beside that, we can't... If there are people... And I, I, I agree with everything both of you guys said. But there are people that still say that they don't need him, that the Warriors can go on and, and do this without him. Look, let me say this. That was one game in, in fr Friday in Houston. It was sort but, of a game in a fourth. fourth. Yeah, in fourth. Yeah. And, but, but the thing mm -hmm. is, Golden State... Their bench, this is the weakest bench that they've it had is. in their postseason run. Yeah. And that was their greatest performance on Friday. That was their greatest performance. All year. But greatest performance. And so you cannot think, if you think that this Warriors team, they can just flip the switch, go back to 2015, play that way, it'll work for stretches. But I'm going to tell you right now, when you need a clutch basket, that's where that man comes in that's at. What that that's, that's what he comes in. That's what I'm, so I didn't, Skip, I applaud you, Skip. I, I, see, the, the more I come on this show, Skip, wisdom the more is rubbing wisdom. off hey, I, 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 osmosis. <laughs> I'm, I'm collecting your wisdom over here. <laughs> I like it, Skip. Well, it's progress. It's actually rubbing off 31, the other way. But that's, 30, you know. 31 <laughs> bench points. When they've been giving you about 10. I, I can't even remember any of the bench points. <laughs> but it was just, it was Kaban Looney had 14 in the office. Sean Livingston Living to play yeah. huge. Yeah. But, mm. like, Iguodala played like he was 20. But, but hold on, that's late. Let's give some props to the Portland Trailblazers now. Yeah. Damon Lillard, CJ McCollum. Well, those you, boys, they're not going to... You know them well. They're not going to let well. up. Damon right. Lillard, his home going well, back. Well, that's perfect, Chris, because Let's we're going to talk about CJ and his night. Yeah. Did he have a By LeBron-esque the way, do you, performance? Do you think KD's going to play or not? What's we have gut? an update. Any gut? I, th I, think he, I think he'll eventually play in the series. Okay, in this okay. series. In this okay. series. I think right. But I believe he's going to miss the first two games. All right. Thanks for your insight, Thank always. You. Appreciate go. you being here. Uh, let's talk about that performance from CJ. Was it LeBron-like? We'll discuss mm. next.